Here we're discussing the different type controllers and just general maintenance and checks you can do to verify whether your system is operating properly. All of your, all of your controls, whether it be the Rainbird or the Sterling or some other brand, have a manual operation system. You can actually turn your control to the manual program, then you're actually going to manually turn on your different solenoids to check to verify whether they're working properly. Follow your manufacturer's specifications and directions on how to do this because each controller is different. Once you've checked your solenoids through the manual system, you've actually checked to see which ones are turning off and on and which ones are operating properly. Each solenoid also has a couple of features on it. They have a manual control where you actually rotate the motor, where you can manually rotate the solenoid and turn it on, and that can verify also whether it, the system is operating properly. It also has a regulator valve. This regulator valve always needs to be in the open position, which is screwed all the way out or counterclockwise. This, uh, this is oftentimes a, a problem for systems is someone's come and turned your regulator down and that's why your misters or drip irrigation is not operating properly. Next we're going to discuss cleaning the filter on your irrigation system. This needs to be cleaned periodically every three to six months. You will actually remove this bottom cap and inside it has several different plates. These plates will need to be washed. Oftentimes it's easiest to remove those plates and clean them separately to remove sediment and any algae or deposits that may have come into the filter. You do not use anything that's harsh or abrasive. Something mild like Dawn dish detergent works very well. Your backflow preventer, um, a common issue we get on it is we get calls of my backflow preventer's leaking. This is normal. It's because of pressure, train, pressure changes on the input side and the output side. What the backflow preventer does is it prevents any chemicals that may be in your system from making it back into the main water supply. This is your fertilizer injector. There's really a, not a whole lot of maintenance uh, to do with this. It's a simple on and off operation here on top. Make sure it's in the on position. That's sometimes a common question. My injector's not working. It's just make sure that the, the valve on top is actually in the on position. It specifies off and on. The only maintenance issue we have with this is making sure that your pickup screen and filter is clean. This, uh, when the system is operating, it will occasionally you'll hear a click noise that signifies that it's actually pumping. It will not be a repetitive click, 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 click. It will just be a slow click, click. And you can also look at your pickup line and verify that your chemical is being injected into your system. Final step on irrigation we're going to cover is going to be your drip irrigation and your misters. Drip irrigation typically is no maintenance other than if you're not using it you can actually fold it up and lock it onto itself. This prevents making a mess inside your greenhouse. Your mist irrigation, this is called the LPD, the big egg-shaped piece. When it's operating properly, this little purple tip will poke out and it'll, it's a pressure regulator is what it does and it actually allows the water to come down into the mist to the mister tip. Common problem is this little white tip breaks off and then it'll be shooting a straight stream instead of the fan pattern. This part can be replaced by itself or in some instances the LPD becomes clogged and it begins to where it will not operate properly. Both of them are a simple twist and turn removal. Same thing goes for replacing it. You put it in and twist it slightly. Both of them and your system has been replaced and ready to go again.